All right. In year 11 chemistry today, what we did was a gravimetrical analysis. What we wanted to do is we were using precipitation reactions to find out how much sulfate was in this stuff here, which is Thrive. It's fertilizer. We're looking for sulfate. So to find that out, we need to take sulfate on a journey into a precipitate. We start off by getting some of the, um, the fertilizer here and then we dissolve it in some water, which makes this grainy little substance here. All the sulfate that's in the fertilizer dissolves, and then we can filter out all the, um, all the solids and stuff like that from this, and therefore, in our filtrate, there is just sulfate ions in here. So there's probably some other like, dissolved ions as well, but sulfate's the main one here. So once we get our sulfate ions in there, the key thing is with gravimetrical analysis, you're doing a precipitation reaction. So what we did is we added barium hydroxide. No, we added barium chloride to that. So in here, we had barium chloride. We add it to the filtrate. So if I do that here now, add this to the filtrate, what you see is it starts to go cloudy and that is formation of our precipitate, okay? That's barium sulfate as a precipitate. Once we've got our precipitate, we can then filter it and determine how much barium sulfate there actually is there. To filter this precipitate, we're using one of these, which is a vacuum filter and a book in the funnel. Basically, we have our hose, which is attached to this part of our tap. As the water rushes down, it creates a vacuum and sucks in what's happening in this flask. So when I turn it on, and I tip this in, the vacuum is taking down my liquid, and my filter is trapping my precipitate in here. Once we're all filtered, what we get to do is then dry my filter paper and my precipitate and then weigh it. Once I've got the weight of my barium sulfate, I can just do some mole calculations and trace that sulfate back into what was in my fertilizer initially. Gravimetrical analysis, really simple tool, using precipitation reactions to find out the amount of something that will form a precipitate in a sample of something else. Well, the idea behind gravimetrical analysis is pretty straightforward make a precipitate and weigh it. There's a whole bunch of stuff that can go wrong during the experiment. A couple of those pressure points are making sure the stuff dissolves initially. If you don't put enough time into mixing and stirring, you won't get all that sulfate dissolving or whatever you're looking for. The second one is making sure you filter out all the solids to begin with. If I didn't filter out all the sand and the clay from my fertilizer, that would come through in my precipitate. The other thing is we need to make sure that all the sulfate reacts to form the precipitate, so therefore making sure you add enough barium chloride to make that precipitation reaction happen. If you don't do that, you're not making the precipitate and some of that sulfate will become undetected, so your answer will be lower than what you have already, than, it, than what it actually should be. Um, other things, drying your precipitate properly. Once you've obviously filtered, there's going to be water on the filter paper as well. So you need to let it dry till it's a constant mass and you know there's no more water there. So with precipitation reactions and gravimetrical analysis, easy and straightforward in theory, but there are a lot of pressure points that can make a wrong answer for you.